welcome to the children's service of joy. We're glad you can make it. We encourage you to follow along as you are able. It is my sincere hope that your Advent season is filled with hope, love, peace, and joy. Thank you for joining us. We encourage you to share this with your family and friends. In those days, Caesar Augustus is issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was the governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest rooms available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields, keep keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause the great joy of all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great a company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the Shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see about what happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying to the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning that what had been told them about this child. And what, all who heard was amazed that the shepherds said to him, But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which, which were just as they had been told.
Upon his conversion, Charles Wesley immediately began writing hymns, each one packed with a doctrine and all of them ex exhibiting strength and sensitivity, both, both beauty and theological brawn. He wrote constantly and even on horseback, his mind was flooded with new songs. He often stopped at houses along the road and ran in asking for a pen and ink. He wrote over 6,000 hymns during this life and he and did not like people tinkering with the words. But but one man did the church a, did the church a great favor by polishing up one of Charles's best love hymns. When Charles was 32, he wrote a Christmas hymn that began, Hark oh, how all the welkin rings, glory to the king of kings, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful, joyful, all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. Universal nature say, Christ the Lord is born today. The word welkin was an old English term for the vault of heaven. When Charles, when, was Charles, it was Charles's friend, George Whitfield, who, who when he published his car this carol in his collection of hymns in 1753, changed the words to now beloved, hark the herald angels sing. What Christmas means to me is that I get to spend so much time with my family. Me Christmas means friends and family being together in special traditions. I think Christmas means to me about joy because you get to hang out with your family. What does Christmas mean to you? You have um, it's Jesus' birthday. Christmas means to me is Jesus is born. Merry Christmas. Christmas means family. Uh, Christmas means crafts, spending time with family, and Jesus' birthday. Kidsment means light and kids met God, Christmas trees, family. Yay! Jesus' birthday?
loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus that we may share in the song of the angels and the gladness of the shepherds and worship the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be thy children and Christmas evening bring us to our beds with graceful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven. For Jesus' sake, amen. Let us pray. Loving God, for the gift of this time together and for each child that has helped us to worship you with joy, we give you thanks and humbly ask for your blessing upon them and all of us, that as we journey together closer and closer to Bethlehem, that we experience the joy of our Lord Jesus, born anew in our hearts. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. And now go forth into the rest of this day and this week with the joy of the Lord Jesus Christ at work in your heart. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>